Welcome back everybody here on Just The Zack World is my continued mission to show you guys interesting video games almost every day. This time we are going to have a look at Dwarfs, Glory, Death and Loot, which is a game that mixes fantasy, roguelike, auto battler, strategic elements. We are going to gather a Dwarven warband, send them out for glory, death and loot and well with that make them stronger, gather more, upgrade them and continue that. This game is currently set out to come out sometime in the near future. There's no precise date. It is going to release an early access and we're going to have a look at the demo which is currently at version 0.9.1 which also tells me, I mean if the early access version is going to be version 1, so maybe that's going to release somewhat near in the future, maybe. Also one thing, this game is, well this demo to be precise, um, I had this installed for like a couple of months right now. Never came around to give it a try, but this got constantly updated by the developers, which in my opinion is always a great sign. And yeah, actually I just got another update, well, probably to this version, so I thought, you know what, now it's time to give this a try, to gather the glory, loot and the death. So before we start, options menu, as always, we have display, we have at least two volume sliders, auto cells, so for this time of game, a type of game, this is pretty alright, there's no resolution apparently. Well, switch from full screen to window. Also, one thing that I noticed actually is, well, for me, the game launched in German. And I said, hey, cool. Luckily, I don't have to bother much. We have a language setting here in the main menu, which works. But if I click this, nothing happens. Well, it has a delay now. Or you gotta move a bit. So that's... Also, it seems like if you look at the distance, maybe it's just my imagination, but the lighting always changes just a bit if we click this. Do you guys notice that or am I just crazy? Again? And again? And again, maybe it's just my weird timing, but yeah. Nothing major, just something that I noticed a lot here. Well, no, just noticed. So without further ado, let's hit start and see what this game offers us. You're about to start a new game. Would you like to begin with a short tutorial? I'm gonna take a bet and say no, I might regret this. So if I am going to tear this game apart at the end of this one, I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion and say this is awful. Might be because I didn't play the tutorial and am just very bad. I'm gonna take a bet here. So take that with a grain of salt then. So we have two drafts already. Nice, we can have up to 10. We don't have a single victory. Oh man, we have to change that. And in inventory, we have... Well, apparently one item and we can have up to 22. We have 500 gold, that's nice. So we have a shop reroll dwarves. We can apparently buy a weapon, a wizard staff, a war blade and a war hammer. I mean, ultimate shatterer, ultimate blade dance, two-handed warrior, two-handed warrior, fire staff, mage. Okay, cool. So if I get that, that right from the Steam description, actually not in the game so far, but I guess it's easy to tell. Um, the classes, our dwarves can have classes and those are relevant or chosen by the main weapon. We can still customize them, but that main weapon decides the class and then we can, you know, change what is there to be changed. Warhammer is not that good. Let's go with a cool Warblade. Sure, 210 is a lot. Let's buy this. And recruit. Okay, can I? Is this the shop? Shop tier. Okay, we could also upgrade the shop. Okay, upgrade shop tier costs 10,000. Wow, what is this? White flag. Well, the bar is fully charged. Five out of five. You can retreat from battle by clicking on the white flag symbol. Press W up arrow code. You gain one charge per victory and can buy the remaining charges here. Cost is per missing charge. Well, we are drows. We're never gonna run away. So this is a different shop to this shop that we are in, apparently. Dwarfs? Okay, these are my dwarfs, which we then can customize. Nice. Wait, let's go back. I want to have a third dwarf, of, co of course. And we could... We have 190. So, Helmet of Wrath. Helmet. Stamina, Wisdom, Intelligence, Strength, Dexterity. We have three dwarfs. Do I have a weapon? We have a Golden Shield, which would upgrade one of our dwarfs to a knight, apparently. I mean, let's go. A dwarf, a warrior, and a mage? Yeah, let's buy the wizard stuff. Oh, we could buy another one. But yeah, let's buy this helmet, because why not? Okay, let's see. Helmet all. So this is just an inventory item, right? So we have Drum Room, we have New Gromry, and we have Grom Rotum. He's a knight, apparently. No, everyone is a knight, so I guess that doesn't matter. They do have different stats, indeed. Well, our first two have... 
20 stamina, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, and wisdom, intelligence, strength, and dexterity, 10 speed, a weight of 100, damage 4 to 6, attack speed 1.05, and our new guy, which we bought, has the same damage, a little bit, I think, better attack speed, 1.07, if it is like attacks per second or something, but less stamina, and the other stats are a little bit different as well. More speed, apparently. I guess stamina is HP. So we want to have at the front, if this is the front, I have no idea. Let's make this guy a knight. Click. Oh, you can't drag and drop. Ah, oh, why can't I drag and drop? I like that. Ah, it's not possible. Okay, I'm gonna want to upgrade. There we go. He has it. Nice. Okay, he is a knight. Can I still give him the sword? No, it's two-handed. Of course I can't. So let's go with the shield. Um, give you back the spear for now gonna give you the two-handed one there we go okay recruit spear four to six okay they have damage two to ten they have an ultimate ability right now do you have something with the sh shield then apparently not i'm gonna give you the helmet as well you're gonna be the guy who takes all the damage okay recruit helmet doesn't matter at all hopefully he has a few more stats he does you are gonna be our mage <laughs> look at him go awesome so, retry it. Let's go to the halls, then. Oh, wait. Menu, skills, storage. Skills? Ooh, gem, gems own zero. Skill points, gem cost one skill. Okay, so we can get some other abilities as well, like the Knight's Devotion. Uh, stamina to all dwarves and damage reduction. Okay, more priest wisdom to all. We have archer same, dexterity to all, so pure stats upgrade. Okay, nothing too interesting so far, but definitely helpful. Bloodthirst. Oh, there's the cool stuff. 15% chance to bleed on all hits and 15% lifesteal for melee attacks against bleeding targets. Yes, so it's gonna get more interesting later. What's an ultimate ability? The Reaper. Unlocks the South, which is two-handed. Reapers deal magic damage in an area on basic... Um, sorry, basic attack based on intelligence. All right. Cannoneer. That definitely sounds interesting. So we have also the storage, which is just our inventory. So I guess I want to put these things in the storage, maybe? Ah, oh, I want to drag and drop so badly. Doesn't work, though. Okay, why not? Halls. We can't forge. We can't have formations right now. Menu? Well, gets us back to the menu. I want to resume. Okay, I want to go out for glory. Uh, how do I do that? Should have played the tutorial. We're three dwarves. We spend our money. Can't, I don't want to reroll. Reroll costs zero, but probably it's gonna increase. Okay, into battle! Dwarfs! Go! Maybe if I scream enough. Menu? Options. Guide. Okay, we have a stat explanation. Crit, crit damage, all melee weapons, scythe, holy hammer. Ooh, smite, bow cannon. Okay, how do I start the combat though? Inspire. Increases speed and attack speed by 25%. Nice. Drunk. <laughs> Increased mana regeneration by 25% chance to miss fail. Ooh. Okay, a lot of stats. That's cool. Battle. Dodge, block, parry, fail, miss. Dwarves will gain individual XP for each killed enemy. Interesting. And one XP per kill. All dwarves who participate in the battle will receive the same amount of XP. That's important. Dwarves will gain plus one stat according to their profession on level up. If you retire a dwarf, all his items will go back to your inventory, and the remaining clan members will receive a fair share of its uh, accumulated XP. Cool. Professions, one hundred dagger, bow, elemental staff, mage, yup. Advanced precision. Ooh, a holy shield. Holy hammer, dark staff, cannon. High scores. Well, cool. I want to start. I feel like this is where the start button should be. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can't. I'm not. Shop. Reroll. Dwarves. Victory. Recruit. Can't. Don't have the money. Okay, I'm going to reroll because why not? Okay, now it would cost more battle. Oh. Do I have to reroll for battle to appear? Really now? I mean, against two spirits would give us a bounty of 80 to XP. Okay, let's go to battle, right? There we go, to war, yes! Okay, I didn't expect that, but we found it. Okay, go, my dwarves! I guess this is gonna speed up the process. Okay, there we go with the auto battle element. We equipped our people. Oh man, our warrior is just, I'm gonna wreck everything. He is fast, wow. Two kills. Hint, the game auto saves after I have to battle. Cool. Did all the basically everything on his own. 
I'll take it. No loot acquired. Are you kidding me? How could I not get any loot? So it seems like the game wants us to always then spend our money and to reroll for a battle. Dwarves. Okay, you are intelligence 12. I think that's still good. Actually, the uh, this guy has the best stats. Oh, wait. There we go. This one has also speed 16, so he does have more speed, but also more weight. Look at his stats, a lot of strength. Um, not sure how to change that right now. Weight, intelligence 12. Well, let's go with that. I don't know, it's fine. Red steel shoulders, stamina, strength, weight, cloth shoulders. Okay, 77. Ooh, night helmet. Ooh. Stamina 7, 4, 5, 2. 6-5, stamina 6, strength 5. I'm gonna buy this, seems... Oh no, these are shoulder pads, though. We might as well buy... Two. Oh, we can only buy one, never mind. Okay, I wanna equip this to our warrior, because why not? Doesn't change him much, right? He's still a warrior. He just has a few more stats. I'm gonna reroll now. And now we have a battle. Cool, got it. Against a single archer. <laughs> to war! To war! Let's go! There we go. Our warrior just running in there, not caring... At all. <laughs> okay, all healing will stop after three minutes to prevent eternal stalemates. Stalemates. I'm so good at pronouncing English. There we go. We have 65 gold. Revo. Let's just go another archer, right? Yeah, to battle, to war. Easy. Our warrior just runs in there. He doesn't care. There we go. This is overall... Mm, our overall HP, I think. All right. Yeah, let's do a few small battles. Why not? It's... Oh, wait! People can be leveled up! Next battle, XP 1. XP needed for next level 1. Wait. So it's not ready yet. They're all just very close. So after this battle... And we can see the inventory. Nice. Blade Danes. <laughs> I don't know why, how, why I pronounce dance like that. Blade Dance. 80. Okay. Increase speed by 25% and parries all incoming melee attacks for 3.5 seconds. So somehow we need to get to this to 80, so the bar is gonna fill somehow. That's for sure. Gotta figure out how that works. Let's just go to war. Okay. Quick and easy battle so far. It's prob. Okay, maybe that's. No, that's his HP. There we go. Gotta learn. We have three guys. There's zero. Got it. And everyone leveled up. That is important. Let's go. Let's have a look at our dwarves. Level 2, level 2, level 2. Nice. Oh, I can't. Shoots a fear projectile. Cool. Okay, so we can't give them stats apparently. Do I have a gem already? Holds? Skills. No, we don't. Okay, so we want to go on, move on. We have 165 gold. Could buy these cloth shoulders, but I'm going to reroll and hope for a battle. Oh, against three. Are we strong enough? Well, let's find out. Battle! To war with our current equip. Everyone is level two. Go! My dwarves! Fireball, yes! Just rush in there. Our oh, warrior doesn't care. He is there for the glory. Go. Yeah, he's, he's going all out there. Oh, did someone parry? Hopefully our guy. Bloodthirst. Nogram has slain three. Nice. The number behind an ultimate reflects the amount of mana it requires to activate it. Okay, how do we gain mana though? Probably by time and attack and such. Okay, this is like two, four, five enemies. Ooh, that's a lot. Divine shoulders. Copper helmet. I don't know what's good or not, actually. Shop. Yeah, we don't have the money here at all. Let's reroll. I think I want to have another dwarf, right? Don't know how good stats are at the moment. Intelligence 9. But let's just get this guy. He's ready. You could give him this stupid helmet, which doesn't matter right now. We still have the storage. But this is all just the zero equipment, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna get you at the end. What could I switch you like this? I could. I mean, this is the fastest guy. He's gonna be at the front anyway. Let's go with this setup. Hopefully, maybe this guy gets a kill or so, so he levels up a little bit faster. So, three guys. Yeah, three guys. We got this. To war! Granite jaw. Iron fist. There we go, my group. You're a little bit more working together now. Nice. Why would I flee? I never flee. I'm amazing. Where's my mouse? There. Oh no! Victory! Flee! No, 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 no! We won! It's victory! You fled from battle, but I won! Did this count now? Gold 100? I don't think so. 
Okay, I pressed the button, yeah, but I already won. I feel like that isn't fair. I just wanted to test that out. Never press the button at all. Okay, we got that now. Let's go here. Ah, oh, shouldn't press the button. That was a mistake. All right, another battle. Let's speed up. There's not much I can do right now. Gotta find out how to charge my mana, but hey, I didn't play the destroyer. It's fine. We gotta figure that out together. Go my this warrior, man. He's our MVP. If he's slain, we are actually in trouble. In <laughs> a lot of trouble. Okay, level three, three, nice. All right, let's skip ahead a bit, shall we? The first time I actually found some loot, a assassin's razor, which is gonna be a thief weapon. Nice. Let's see if we can get some cool ultimate dance and dagger. Does this one actually have? Yeah, passive poison blade. So he doesn't have this one doesn't have an ultimate, but a passive ability. Cool. We just need a dwarf, divine staff, or another wizard staff, which would give us a priest. I think I want to have a priest. Let's buy this. Another battle reroll. Would like to have a dwarf. I think against four people we can win again. Helm of wrath, red steel so uh, shoulders. Let's go to battle one more time, and then I want to upgrade my people and make the band a little bit stronger. This one. This is definitely our MVP. Well, wow. our warrior actually died. I didn't expect that to happen. Is he now gone forever? Fallen. Can I revive him? We need a priest. I didn't expect that. I just fought like another slightly stronger battle. And we got some shoulders at least. Oh no, choose poison. Oh, we have a free upgrade. Mark of Everlasting Book, Artifact or oh, oh, Artifacts, cool. Unique, restores 50% health when falling below 25% health. Become drunk for 10 seconds, uh, one use per battle. Gain plus one permanent wisdom on use, wow. Sell for 26, wow. Tungsten Ore, Artifact All. Minus 10% speed, th plus 30% weight. Gain plus one strength on level up. Or Poison Vial. 5% chance to poison on attack. Apply an additional stack of poison on single target ultimate. Gain plus one dex on level up. Give okay, 5% chance to poison on attack. Apply an additional stack of poison on single target ultimate. Gain plus one dex on level up. I think I want to get this. Mark of Everlasting Bog also sounds cool if you have a priest. We have a priest thing or paladin maybe. Not sure if paladin benefits much from wisdom. But we can't get a paladin right now. Don't know about this. I don't know how important weight is. I should have locked that up. Let's get in the poison wild. That sounds cool. Let's actually go and have a look. We have a menu, luckily, and a guide which tells me all of this. Wait, wait. Increases momentum and reduces impact of pushbook. Yeah. Could be pretty good. I don't know. Uh, okay, he has fallen. No, he is back in the gun, uh, in the go, though. I guess he didn't get any XP. Even though he has fallen. Okay, as long as we win the battle, it's fine. I really want to have a new dwarf now. And as you can see, battles definitely get more stronger now. And more difficult. Shaman orcs now. Reroll. I want to have a new dwarf, maybe. I think so. What's here? You have a lot of stamina. You have a lot of stamina too. We need dexterity, I think. You have more. Let's go. I'm going to recruit you. Oh, a banner of war, which gives us a supporter. Very interesting. Okay, let's actually go with this. What do I have right now? I actually would like to have... I'm going to reroll once. Night Helmet actually sounds good. I'm going to buy this. Reroll. Oh, nothing. 25? Come on. Mm, this is bad. Okay, what kind of weapon... Oh, no, wait. There we go. You have a Helmet of Wrath, which increases pretty much all stats by 4. Speed 2. This gives us more stamina, strength. That is what this guy has. We really need to upgrade our people. We have two normal ones. I guess we gotta go with this. You get this helmet and you get the dagger. So you are a thief now. The problem is we can actually give our people two knives. So this could definitely be better. Wait, what's your dexterity actually baseline? Um, can I unequip everything somehow? How do I unequip? Oh, I can actually move this window, interesting. Why would I do that, though? How do I unequip? Should have paid more attention. This dwarf has no ultimate by just giving him other stuff, I guess. Well, dexterity 24. Goes down to 13, though. So this is definitely a lot of dexterity. So base equipment again. So dexterity 8. No, this guy with 9, nine at least. So you get the knife, you get this, you get our poison vial. 
There we go. You have only one knife, but at least there's a passive poison blade. So, stammer strength. Who needs shoulder pads? Probably our warrior. A little bit more survivability. And you are gonna be our priest. Do something good with the Stoßgebiet. Okay, you are there, there, there. I don't know who's fast or not. I actually can't check this up, right? Speed 15, 18, 10, 10. So I'm going to change you to... How do I do this? Click or oh, click there. Okay. And this is speed 12. Let's go with the setup. Okay, battle against a single guy. Sure, I don't want to reroll again. It's a lot of money. Let's go with the setup. I wonder if I can look up somewhere what Stoskeby does as an ability. Yeah, we can. I'm just rumbling nonsense again. Of course we can look up their abilities. Okay, no loot, just a little bit of money and XP. That's fine. So I'm gonna click here. And there, Stoskeby. Heals the lowest, uh, lowest ally critically for 120 HP and removes all arrows. Arrows. So I guess arrows apply bleed or something. Interesting. Basic here. The value of the basic here of the dwarf. This is based on intelligent. Wait, intelligent, not wisdom? Huh. Didn't expect that actually. It's fine. My party probably is not optimized at all, but we're gonna make out with this. Well, it's gonna work out somehow. All right, let's actually do a somewhat more difficult battle this time. So we have our one, two, three, four, five, six dwarves right now. With this one artifact, we have two thieves, this one knight, our super warrior, Nogrami, level 5 right now, level 3, 5, 5, 3, 5, okay. We have a priest, we have a wizard, and let's try this battle, which is going to give us 555 gold, 8 XP. We're going to fight four spear rocks, three cleaver rocks, and a single fire mage rock, which has an ultimate phoenix. And these guys have ultimate execute. This is probably gonna be very tough. Oh, bounty 8 or 9. Probably this is even worse here when we're fighting this. But let's go with this. I wanna fight a fire mage. Let's go. Okay, go, my people. 6 against 8. Let's hope we're strong enough. Our priest does heal from time to time, which is good. Oh no. Our biggest guy fell down, but it's 5 against 1. Okay, we got this. Go, my team. Run. There's so much fire. That was the phoenix. But we did it. Also some loot. Nice. A bunch of level ups. Not the fallen guy, unfortunately. Every battle yields bounty, gold, and XP. Experience to gain levels. Nice. Red steel shoulders. We actually won. Cool. Now we have 1300 gold. We still can't buy the upgrade. 10,000 is so much. Never found a legendary or an epic item so far. Or a rare one for that. I think not even a good one, actually. We have one good item, but I got that as loot, uh, loot which is on him, an Assassin's Razor. We still need two, because this is just an offhand <laughs> dagger. We need a main hand dagger so badly. All right, guys, I did play a few more rounds. We are currently at 19 victories, and it seems like we are about to fight our first, or maybe second, elite enemy. Every time it's gonna be an elite orc right now. I'm not sure if we fought one earlier where we get our first artifact. I have to admit I didn't pay that much attention because so much was happening. You guys saw that. But now there's definitely a stronger combat going on right now. Also, my mouse just... No, nope. what happened to my mouse? Okay, that's on me. So I accidentally rerolled because I am not very smart and misclicked. We have a dwarven cloak, by the way, which is a shoulders item. I... There... Yeah, didn't mean to reroll. So let's go with an elite orc fight. I did upgrade my people right now. Everyone has a helmet, custom one. This one has even like an assassin's mask. We have some better rarities as well, which I like. So for example, we have a few greens. We also have two greens here. Our first blue one. This one has blue divine shoulders. So let's hope we are prepared to have a good fight against this elite enemy. Mm, green divine shoulders, not sure. Let's go. Elite Orc, Ultimate Bloodseeker. Level 4 only. Earlier, there, I think there was like a level 5 one. Let's... I'm gonna revo again. Oh no, what did I do? Ooh, better Warblade though. That is good. Golden Knight Helmet. Oh no. What have I done? I actually wanted to fight Helmet of Wrath. Everything to 4? Maybe we should upgrade. Stamina 12, Wisdom, Strength. This is maybe a little bit better. Strength 4. Golden Knight. It looks cooler. Another Hammer of Wrath, but our two knights already have those in green. So you get the better sword. I do like the comparison here. We can see the stat upgrade. We definitely want this basic one. Let's sell this. Reroll again for zero. There we go. It seems also that the reroll costs rely a little bit on what's happening on the screen. So 
I want to fight a level... Oh, level 6. Whatever, let's go. Bounty 900. So the Elite Orc has quite a few stats. We have a Shaman Orc. Actually, these are different, apparently. Five ones, or there's always like a... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, never mind. I, okay, first off, the, to end this train of thought, I thought maybe there's always like a maximum stack of four here. I don't know. But look at this. This is unique. Ultimate Healing Rain. Azak the Wicked. Priest. Oh, he's gonna heal a lot. 906. Let's go. Let's fight Azak the Wicked. Healing Rain. Oh, man. This is gonna be tough battle. Can't buy anything here. Let's go. Let's see if we can win this. Go, my draft To war for glory. Da -da 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 -da. Let's fight. There's... Okay, there's some raining... Okay, we also got a lot of upgrades. There's seven weathers four. We got this, right, team? Just go in there. Wreck Havard. Ah, God, the enemy has so much healing, though. Okay, our priest healed once. Oh, yeah, we're winning. Nice. They're kind of close there for a second. Okay, and there we go. Victory! We did it. Oh, another assassin's mask. Nice. We have two thieves and a staff of water. An epic weapon. Ultimate healing rain for... Oh, this, that is a priest weapon. Yes. And a new artifact, for example, the Ring of Restoration artifact all. Restores 3% of maximum HP and removes one arrow, uh, arrow every two seconds. Gain plus one strength, uh, stamina level up. That could be good for our knights. Ooh, even the artifacts have rarity. We could get another poison vial, which gives us now a plus 8% chance to poison an attack. The current one which we have is common or normal and gives us a 5%. Well, we probably have to go by rarity, epic, artifact all. Minus 8% uh, speed, but plus 27% weight. Earn 30 gold for each level the rearer has upon level up. So it's gonna give us a lot of money, most likely. I mean, probably by rarity, a new dwarf would now cost, wow, that's a lot. So earn 30 gold for each level the rearer has upon level. Also more weight, that is probably good for our knights as well at the front so they these guys would survive let's see if i switch this you currently have a divine staff Stoßgebiet, uh, which heals one guy the lowest this is like an aoe right well let's actually compare the stats yeah the the epic weapon is a little bit strong it seems and removes burning and restores 70 hp over three seconds for two allies so the healing is actually less but the other stats are just better if you compare this again Stoß could beat also 180 HP. So the healing is actually only for two allies over three seconds. So maybe it's not as good. Hard to tell, actually. Also, we're going to give you, you are an, a thief. You want to have the assassin's mask. But it's epic. The stats are better. We have to go by the stats, right? Wisdom. Yeah, look at the stats. If we use the normal priest stuff here, wisdom minus 17. And wisdom is like every point increases mana regeneration. So we want this one to cast the spell more often, which hopefully should work, I think. I haven't figured out where I can see the current mana because everything is happening so fast. But that's just a little thing. A few UI things maybe as well, like why this? Can't I have this somewhere in the main menu as well? Why do I have the storage so separately? Same with the skills, we haven't found a single gem now, right now. But, frankly, this game is a lot of fun. I just went into this, we only have seven dwarves, so there's more. We can have, go completely haywire with the builds, victories, more enemies. I've seen the dragon, a freaking giant red dragon in the main menu. And, yeah, the simple gameplay loop, it, or it is a simple gameplay loop. You know, get your dwarves, upgrade the dwarf, go and play with the loot that you get. And then go to fight and rinse and repeat. But frankly, this is a lot of fun. I love this. It's very simple, but it's hugely engaging. You always want to, frankly, just one more turn, right? Okay, my party is a little bit stronger. The enemies are strong. I want to test that out. Just one more turn. Just one more turn. It's also fast. It's efficient. You just look maybe a little bit of engagement with the skills of so doing combat would be nice. I don't know. Hard to tell. Depends. But yeah, maybe a few UI elements with understanding mana. Again, keep in mind I haven't played the tutorial. But overall, yeah, As a thumbs up. This is definitely a lot of fun. I'm probably going to play a few more rounds privately, frankly. I want to see how far I can get. And I'm looking forward to check this out once it has fully released in early access. Um, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Dwarf, Death, Glory, and all the loot! Feel free to check it out. Tell me what you think about the game. Tell me what you think of my commentary and presentation there. Feedback is always greatly appreciated. Consider sharing this video. Stay awesome. And we're going to see each other 
in the next video. Truly thank you for watching.